Now the third case, if a positive integer if a positive integer and a negative integer are added. So let us check the third case a positive integer and a negative integer are added. Now for that So right side to 0, we take 1, 2, 3, positive integers, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and left to 0, we take the negative integers, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, minus 6, minus 7, minus 8 and so on. Now in this, if you want to add 7 plus of minus 3, a positive integer and a negative integer. So first 7 means 0, 2. From 0 we have to move to the right 7 so this is 7 then minus 3 the negative integer is added so when the negative integer is given then we have to move to the left so then the positive integer means we have to move to the right and the negative integer means we have to move to the left so then we have to move three steps to the left of 7 so 1 2 3 so this is minus 3 then we are at 4 so then 7 plus of minus 3 equals to 4 now if a negative integer and a positive integer given so if minus 7 plus 3 is given so then minus 7 means first you have to move to the left from 0 so that is So this is minus 7 and positive integer is added. So then when the positive integer is added then we have to move to the right. So from minus 7 you have to move 3 steps to the right. So 1, 2, 3. So then we are at minus 4. So then so this is minus 3. So minus 7 plus of minus 3 equals to minus 4. Now if minus 4, if minus 5 plus 5 are added, so then first minus 5 means from 0 we have to move to the left till minus 5. So this is minus 5. Four, uh, 5 means again 5 means we have to move to the right 5. So then again we reach at 0. So this symbol this is minus 5 and if you come back again to the right if you move again 5 steps to the right then we reach again at 0 so then minus 5 plus 5 equal to 0 so here yeah, the sum the sum of a positive and a negative integer may be a positive integer or a negative integer so the sum of any two positive integers is a positive integer so we can write the sum of two positive integers is a positive integer next the sum of two negative integers is a negative integer next the sum of a positive and a negative
इंटीजर इज द सम ऑफ ए पॉजिटिव एंड ए नेगेटिव इंटीजर मे बी ए पॉजिटिव और नेगेटिव इंटीजर और जीरो now based on the addition of integers let us solve few problems now now the first question using the number line write the integer which is 3 more than 5 so the integer which is 3 more than 5 means so on the number line we take so minus 1 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 so first we take 3 So we have to move zero to three, and more than five means first we should take five, and three more than five. Three more means we have to move to the right of five. So we should move more three steps. So one, two, three. So then we have reached at eight. So then three more than five is eight. so we can write that the integer which is 3 more than 5 is 8 next question 5 more than minus 5 so first so we take the number line on the number line we take positive integers on the right to the zero so negative integers to the left of zero minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 minus 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 <laughs> so then first we have to take minus 5 so 0 to minus 5 and 5 more than or we can take directly minus 5 on the number line so this is minus 5 from this minus 5 5 more 5 more means you have to reach we have to move to the right so 1 2 3 4 5 so plus 5 so then again we have reached at 0 so then the integer which is 5 more than minus 5 is 0 next 3 less than minus 2 so on the number line So one, two, three, four, five, six, minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five, minus six. First, you have to represent minus two on the number line. Three less than minus two means three less means you have to move three steps to the left of minus two. So one, two, three steps. So this, then we are reaching to minus five. So then. the integer which is 3 less than minus 2 is minus 5 now let us see the next question use the number line and add the following 
integers so the first one is 9 plus of minus 6 so on the number line zero and to the left of zero we take the negative integers minus one minus two minus three minus four and to the right of zero we take the positive integers as one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so first you have to take nine so we have to move from zero to nine so this is nine and a negative integer is added so when the negative integer is added we have to move to the left so then minus 6 represents 6 steps to the left of 9 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 steps so this is minus 6 so then we have reached at 3 so then 9 plus of minus 6 equal to 3 so the sum of a positive and a negative integer here we have got a positive integer now minus 5 plus 10 so here also we take the number line Minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, minus 6, minus 7, minus 8, minus 9. And right side to 0, we take the positive integers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So here minus 5 represents, we have to move 5 steps to the left of 0. So then 0 to 5 steps to the left. So we have reached at minus 5. So then plus 10 is added to the negative integer minus 5. So here plus 10 represents that we have to move 10 steps, 10 numbers to the right of minus 5. So then we will reach 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we have reached at 5. So these are all 10 steps. So minus 5 plus 10 equals to 5 next minus 2 plus 8 minus 4 so minus 2 plus 8 plus half minus 4 so your yeah, three integers are there in these three integers one is positive and the other two integers are negative integers One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and to left of zero minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five, minus six, minus seven, minus eight, minus nine. So first you will take minus two. So zero two minus two means two steps to the left of zero. So this is minus two. Next plus eight. So plus eight represents that. We have to move 8 steps to the right of minus 2. So plus represents we have to move to the right. So then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So this is plus 8. Then again minus 4 is there. So here again the negative integer represents we have to move to the left. So then so from where we have reached there we have to move four steps to the left so one two three four so this is minus four then we have reached at two so then the result is minus two plus eight 
plus of minus 4 equals to 2. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.